Hey everyone, I'm David Zito, and welcome to Zito Home DIY. Today, we're gonna turn this wall into a herringbone accent wall for under $200. What we did first was measure out the whole wall and then calculated how long the diagonals should be. As you can see, we had a lot of ideas, but we decided on a herringbone design. The material we're going to use for this project is this white trim. It's around five or six dollars for an eight foot long piece. One day, I'm gonna convert this table into a miter saw station. That way, I can do repeatable cuts a lot easier. Check out for that video in the future. Here's a time-saving tip. Since our design is gonna be equal distance between the trims, we're gonna use a scrap piece of wood, cut it to length, cut the right angle, and use this as a spacer. So change of plans, what we originally wanted to do was paint all of this black, even the trim. However, Blair decided that it would be a good idea to have a gradient color, which I thought was a really good idea too. So that's what we're going to do now. As you can see, we had some test paint to show the gradient going up and down from darker to lighter. And the paint that we got was super cheap. We got it from Lowe's at Home Depot. The black paint was $9 and the lighter paint was $6 because they were returns and they are sold cheaper. So always check for the returned items for paint if you want a cheaper product. Not a cheaper product. A less expensive product. There you go. So the technique that we're using is to measure out where the next color will be, paint it first, and then apply the trim. That way, the transition between the colors will be hidden by the trim. Now that we're done painting the gradient wall and installed all of the trim, we have to go back and perform some of the touch-up work. Another thing we have to do is seal up all of these crevices so that the paint can sit flush on the trim. One thing you might encounter after placing all of the trim is that one of them may overlap one of these outlets. What we're going to do is, since the trim is made of PVC, it's actually really easy to cut with a box cutter. All we have to do is protect the paint and cut carefully.
And that concludes the herringbone accent wall. For under $200, we made a big statement in the living room. The hardest part that I thought was actually all of the touch-up work. If you like how this wall turned out, please hit that like button. As always, all of the items that we used in this project will be linked in the description below. If you have any other suggestions, please leave a comment. That's all we have for today. Catch us in our next home improvement video. Be safe and take care.